Good evening. How are you? Good evening. How are you guys? Good evening, teacher. Good, Good evening. evening. Hi. What about you, teacher? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. <laughs> ready for the class. Yeah, we're ready. We're always ready. Okay, excellent. Your camera is okay right now. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's working properly. Actually, I restarted the computer first. How are you, Carlos? Find your mute, actually. Oh, sorry. Fine, <laughs> teacher. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for asking. Good to see you. <laughs> good to see you too. Bye. Espero que estén practicando los verbos. Como les dije la vez pasada, los niveles van avanzando y por, por lo tanto los verbos se van usando cada vez más. De hecho, lo van a usar toda su vida hasta que ya dejemos de existir porque eh, ya hablan el idioma, sé que va, están en el proceso de aprendizaje, pero eh, lo que se aprende nunca se olvida. Y eso aplica right. en general, cosas buenas y malas. Así. Pero aprendamos la buena, ¿verdad? Así que aprendámonos los verbos. Priority. Prioritize. Ok. Vaya. Prioritize. Entonces, eh, la vez pasada vimos los verbos en el presente, luego en el pasado. ¿Se acuerdan que estudiamos el pasado y que nos tardamos un montón, verdad? Porque hay un montón de sí. reglas. Ahora no nos vamos a detener. Dice Lorena, good evening, I'll be listening on my way. Ok, thank you Lorena for letting me know. Vaya, como eh, ya estuvimos dándole al, al pasado simple, ahora nos vamos a enfocar solo a practicar. Y ya van a ver que todas las estructuras de hoy en adelante que vean, si se aprenden los verbos, ya eso va a ser piece of cake. Piece ya eso cake. va a ser piece of cake. Very cheap. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Moving forward, today, today's topic is going to be um, the simple present. I'm sorry. Simple past. Simple past and present perfect. Simple past and Present perfect. However, I'm not I'm not going to stop on the on the simple past because that's a topic that we have studied already. It's something that we have been practicing. You already know that there are uh, three types of pronunciations that we have. Oh, by the way, what are the three types of pronunciations that we have in the simple past for the regular verbs? Um, it, uh, it, but the pronunciation or, or, that's going to be id, id, uh huh, the, and the other one, uh, id, study, id, that's id, id, uh -huh. the, and those are the three types of pronunciation. Uh, do the three types of pronunciation apply to regular and irregular verbs or just to regular verbs? Regular verbs. Just to regular verbs, correct? Right. And what types of verbs do we have? We have... Carlos. <laughs> regular and irregular. Exactly. We have regular and irregular. Mm -hmm. Talking about talking about the irregular. I'm going to ask you randomly. I want you to look at I want you to look at the camera. Don't look at your phone, right? Because I want to test you. I want to know if you have been practicing or not. So what is we're going to we're going to write we're going to write down the V1, V2, and the V3. What's the meaning of V1, V2, and V3? 
B1, base form. B2, simple past. V3, past participle verbs. For example, the B1 in the base form of write. B2, wrote. B3, written. Is it clear? Written. B1, B2, B3. So B1, forget. B2, forgot. B3, forgotten. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Clear. So, all right. I'm taking it. Okay, Carlos, <laughs> what is the V3 for flu? Flu. Oh, I'm sorry, I gave you the, the B2. For fly. Okay, for fly is The B3 flew, for fly. Flu and flown. No, but I want you to focus on the B3 only. I'm going to say the B1, which is fly, and you're going to give me the B3, which is flown. Okay. Okay. Flown. So, what is the V3 for right? Um, for right, mm -hmm. um, we, writing, writing. Written. 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 Vaya, les mandé los audios. Les mandé los audios, les mandé las listas. Quiero que se las aprendan. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see, uh, Vicente, what is the V3 yes. for beat? Beat. Yes. Let the me past see. participle. B3 is the same as past participle verbs. Instead of saying past participle verbs, because that's a long expression, you can say V3, and people are going to understand. Okay. Let's see, beat. What is B3? I don't remember what it is. Mm -hmm. Edwin, what is the B3 for beat? Uh, beat. Exactly. Um, I don't see. Aha. Uh -huh. Edgar, what is the V3 for beat? Beaten. Thank you. That's beaten. An applause for Edgar. Thank you, Edgar. Great job. Great job. Okay, Maria Jose, the V3 for understand. Understand. Mm -hmm. Understood. Under, under Thank you. An applause for Maria Jose. Great. Let's listen to somebody else. Anna Sonia. What is the B3 for bite? Boat. No, bite. I didn't say buy. Bite. bite. Mm -hmm. Buy de comprar? No, bite. Buy de morder. Exactly. Ah, beat. No, that is the, C, the B2. Okay, bite. the B3 is beaten. Thank you. Uh -huh. Bite. Mm -hmm. Beat, beaten. Okay. So let's listen to Lorena. What is the B3 for speak? Spoke. No, that is the B2. Spoke. Thank you. So let's listen to Andrea Esther. What is the B3 for throw? I'm sorry. No, let's go check. What is the B3 for throw? So... Uh, sinceramente no recuerdo, teacher. Okay, it's all right. Giovanni? I don't, I don't remember, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Carlos, solo los estoy probando, no se los están aprendiendo. Y eso le va a afectar. Ok, Carlos, what is the B3 for throw? Throw. Uh, throw. Uh, throw. 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 No. No. Don't, don't invent. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Edwin. Um, throw. Exactly, that's the B3. Throw through throng. throng. Great. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Remember that English is not the is not just about the uh, base form and the simple past of the verbs. English, that's the reason why we have a base form, simple past, and past participle. English is not about just the verb to be. English has a lot of sentences. Okay. Una pregunta rapidita. ¿Cuántas oraciones aproximadamente creen que hay en inglés? A lot. Ajá. But an approximate. ¿Cuántas oraciones, teacher? Ajá. Porque estamos acostumbrados a que solo nos enseñan el... Pre... Bueno... En, en, la, en las escuelas normales, I remember we studied just the verb to be. In some institutions, they just teach you the simple present, past, and future, and that's it. Mm -hmm. However, right. we have a lot of sentences. Yes. More than a thousand, I think. No, don't invent. <laughs> son no, 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 no. las estructuras que tenemos en inglés oh. la vez pasadas con T son aproximadamente entre 36 a 39 oraciones que tendríamos que saber para ser English speakers ok Teacher, include Estructura. negative form sorry include negative form In no, es que, es que estamos hablando, eh, no, vaya, en una estructura tú tenés afirmar y negar y en questions, ¿sí? Yes. Pero el, el, el foco principal de una estructura es el afirmar, right? So, we have simple present, simple past, simple future, y todas esas se van combinando. Entonces, ¿A qué quiero llegar? A lo que quiero llegar no es a, a que nos enfoquemos en las 36 oraciones, sino que quiero hacerles conciencia que eh, el inglés es bien extenso. Por lo tanto, necesitamos los verbos. Y no importa cuántas oraciones nos enseñen. Si no sabemos los verbos, everything is going to be easy. All right. So, All right. <laughs> what I want you to do is to be conscious and practice the verbs. All right. Because at the end, you are going to understand everything clearly. Okay. So, thank you for your participation, guys. We were uh, actually the main topic for today's lesson is the simple, the simple past versus present perfect. Let me go ahead and share my computer's screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, all right? Okay. All righty. Just give me some seconds. We can see it. Okay, thank you so much. Let me go back to the book. Okay, 
in the meantime, let me go ahead and share my computer screen. Let's go ahead and take advantage of the time because the, the page, the online, online page is still loading. Anyways, uh, we have the use of the present perfect. We have some uses of the present perfect, but I want you to show you, I want to show you the present perfect sentences. With the present perfect sentences, you have a, let's say the formula, but we also have the structures. I'm going to give you some examples. All right. Let's see. Okay. Here you have the formula for the present perfect. Okay. You have the subject. You have have or has. Later, I'm going to explain you when to use have, when to use has. And we have the past participle verb. Okay. Instead of saying past participle verb, you can say V3. Okay. You see? Okay. For example, uh, what is my subject? I. Okay. What's my auxiliary verb? Have. And what is my V3? Try. Try. And you have a complement, which is sushi. I have tried sushi or I have eaten. If you see eat, ate, eaten, with this structure, you are going to use just the V3 verb or past participle this. verb. Examples, you can say, I have written a letter for my lover. Okay, I have gone to the United States three times. I have gone. What is the, the V1? Go. The past went, V3, gone. I have gone to the United States. Now, after giving you the structure and some examples, I want you to give me yours using affirmative sentences. If you see that the signal is positive. So affirmative sentences. Uh-huh. Any volunteer? Vicente, thank you. I have been in the United States. I have been in the United States. Okay, thank you. Great. Another example. Give me more examples, please. Another volunteer. I walk. Sorry. Work. I have walked. Mm -hmm. Where? To the park as a compliment. Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. I have walked to the park. To the park. Uh -huh. The park okay. is going to be your compliment. Okay. Another volunteer. Remember, subject, have or has, and um, past participle verb. Carlos. I have gone uh -huh. a mountain. Mountains. I Mountain. have gone to the mountains. Okay. Excellent. Another volunteer. I have understood the topic. You can say that if you have understood. I have seen the fire in the restaurant. In the restaurant. Okay. All right. I have, I have woken early today. I have woken up early today. I have woken up early today. Excellent. Another example. No more examples. Oh, 
Okay, let's move to the negative form. With the negative form, you have subject plus have not or haven't, or you also can say has not or hasn't, which is the contraction. And this is the contraction of haven't, I mean of have not. Plus past participle verb and complement. Example, I, which is my subject, have not or haven't, okay? And the past participle verb is tried and my complement is sushi. I haven't tried sushi. I haven't eaten dinner today. I haven't drunk this week. Beers, right? Or alcohol, you can say. I haven't gone to the United States yet. Okay. Examples, give me some examples. I haven't walked early this morning. One more time. I haven't walked early this morning. Thank you. Okay, more ideas, you can raise your hands, remember. Edgar. I haven't finished my homework. My platform, fin sorry. Finished. Finished. Uh-huh, remember that sound. I haven't finished my platform. Okay, I haven't finished the platform. All right, another one. More volunteers, Carlos. I haven't played football. I haven't played football, thank you. Okay, and let's move to the interrogative sentences. With interrogative sentences, you are going to write down the auxiliary verbs at the beginning, plus subject, plus past participle, and complement if you wish. So there you have, have you tried sushi? Carlos, what will be your answer? Oh, uh, yes, I, yes, I have. Yes, I have. This is just no question sentences. Yes, I have. Okay, and if it is negative, your answer? Yes, I have it. Don't invent. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> also. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Yes, I haven't. No, no, no I, I haven't. haven't. No, I haven't. <laughs> you, you don't hear me, teacher. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Don't no, invent. I haven't. <laughs> okay. No, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. No, I haven't. Si no se me van a dormir. Si no se me van a dormir. Si no hacemos a menos la clase. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Have okay. you ever seen the rain? Uh, actually, I have. Today in the afternoon was raining so hard. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen the rain? Okay. No, I haven't. All right, now let's ask some questions using just no questions with the present perfect. Let's see, have you bought some food from China Walk? The question goes to Vicente. Yes, teacher. Sorry, I, I, I was writing, writing in my note. Okay, have you bought some food from China Walk? 
Yes, I have. All right. If you see, the questions are pretty simple, correct? Yeah. yeah you right. can say, yes, I have. No, I haven't. Oh, no, I haven't. Okay. Correct. So, uh, have you gone to uh, Pastepeque's Lake, Andrea Esther? Can you repeat? Have you gone to a Pastepeque's Lake? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Vicente, have you gone yes. to Coatepeque's Lake? Yes, I have. Okay, Edgar, have you have you drunk a, a tolchuco? <laughs> no. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay, Edwin. Have you won the lottery? Oh, yes, I have. Okay, ¿cuánto te ganaste? <laughs> <laughs> really? are, are you lying? <laughs> Don't invent. <laughs> Don't that, invent. Is that true or is that a lie? He <laughs> watched it ajeno. <laughs> it's, long, it's only ask. It's just an answer. Okay. Thanks. All right, it's okay. Luis, have you have you driven a truck? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay, Lorena, have you cooked pupusas? Yes, I have. Yeah. Edwin, have you flown an airplane? Oh, no, I haven't. Okay, thank you. Carlos, select one of your classmates. Ask yes, no questions using have or has. Okay. Uh, Andrea Esther. Mm -hmm. Okay. Question. Uh -huh. Okay, let me see. Um, Um, have you tried pollo campero? <laughs> campero chicken. Campero chicken. Yes. I haven't. Yes, I haven't. <laughs> Don't invent. <laughs> yes, I have or no, I haven't. <laughs> Cierto, lo siento. It's okay. Yes, I have. Okay, Andrea, select one of your classmates. Eh, Carlos. Ah, no, Carlos es el que me acaba de preguntar. Eh, Ana Sonia. Yes. Eh, question. Have cl cleaned your room? Have you? Have look at the structure. Have you cleaned? Cleaned your room. Mm -hmm. Really, I haven't. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Select one classmate, please. Me? Yes. Okay. Um, Vicente? Yes. Um, have you gone uh, have you gone to the movies today? No, I haven't. Okay, select one classmate. One big thing. Okay, let's see. Sorry, I, I can see the list. Um, <clears throat> Anna, Son Anna Sonia. Tell me. Anna, Anna Sonia. Yes. Have you lost something today? No, I haven't. Have, okay. you, have you lost what? Something. Something. Today. Something today? Something? Yeah, something. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Questions so far or no questions at all? No questions. All right. Thank you. Now, uh, let me let me move to the uses. When do we use the present perfect? So, 
uh, we use the present perfect for actions related to the present time. For example, I have studied in this school for years. You also use it for period of time hasn't finished. So he has seen Peter today. You use it for time when the time is not mentioned. Example, there has been an earthquake in India. How about the time? It's not mentioned. And here you have the form, affirmative, I had drunk tea. He has done his homework. Negative. I had not drunk tea. He hasn't done his homework. And interrogative. Have you drunk tea? Has he done his homework? Time expressions. Four. You have, you use four for period. And you have since. For date. Date. Mm -hmm. You use particles. For example, just, ever, already, and yet. For just, I have just finished. Have you ever seen a kernel? She has already bought the books, already. And yet, they haven't come yet. Questions so far? No. Okay, For example, I want to go. On. A, go an ahead. example with, with things, which, things. which can be. Ah. Oh. You can say, I haven't, uh -huh. I haven't seen my, I haven't seen my mother since yesterday. Since uh -huh. yesterday. For days, seen... right? Yesterday. Uh -huh. I haven't seen you since the last month. Okay. I haven't seen my girlfriend since last Sunday. Is it clear now? In Spanish is desde. Uh -huh. Desde el, el último domingo. Okay, y, thank you very much. teacher, yes, uh, I have just mm -hmm. finished. Solo lo había terminado. I have just finished. Acabo de. Acabo ¿Sí? de. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have just eaten. Acabo de, de, de terminar. The the comment. Oh, the I comment. have I have just finished eating. I have just eaten food. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. I want to show you something really important. With you, we and they, we're going to use have. have. The same as I and you have, but with the third person singular, we don't say have, we say has. He, she, and it has. That's the auxiliary that we're going to use. If you say he, she, and it have, that's grammatically incorrectly. Questions? No, it's okay. Okay. I have played. All right. Played. Now, let me stop my presentation because I want to show you the platform. Let's see if it's working now.
just give me some seconds. And by the way, what, what you have studied right now is the use of yes, no questions. I mean, the present perfect, affirmative, negative, and yes, no questions. Later on, we're going to study the use of interro I mean, WH questions or uh, information questions. Remember that with yes, no questions, your answer is just, yes, I have, no, no I haven't. However, yes. with WH questions, you need to provide extra information. You're not going to say just yes or no, okay? Okay. Okay, give me some seconds. Cuando estoy presentando con más lenta esta cosa, la, la página. Vaya. Internet está. No, el internet está internet. bueno. Solo que la página como que se traba. Ok. Now, in the meantime, I want you to ask and answer questions about your family members about your father and mother and sister what's uh, what auxiliary bear are you going to use what auxiliary uh, verb are you going to use for your family member wh wh no for your no. mother no. brother and sister what auxiliary verb are you going to use uh, has. Has. Exactly. Has. Why? Because you use has for he, she, and it. Okay. Let's see. Edgar, select one of your classmates. Ask a question using has. For mother, brother, or sister. Edgar, you are mute. Yeah, yeah. for my friend. And... Yes, my friend. Okay. Who is your friend? <laughs> oh, yeah. Vicente. <laughs> my classmate. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um... You are kidding me. Uh-huh. What's your, your... question? Have you have your sister? Have your sister or has your sister? Uh, yes, sorry. Has your sister gone to the supermarket? Uh huh. Great question. Yes, she has. Thank you, Vicente. Yeah. Select one of your classmates. Okay. Let's see. Uh. Giovanni Josue. Mm -hmm. Yes. Has your father uh, uh, go to work today? Go or gone? Gone, gone, sorry. Mm -hmm. Has your father gone to work today? Yes, he has. Thank you. Okay, okay Giovanni, you. select one of your classmates. Hey, Giovanni. Carlos Castaneda. Mm -hmm. Has your brother is Spoken, you know. One more time. Has your brother spoken what? Italian. Italian or Italian language. Is that Italian what you language. Ah, okay. Yeah. No. Um. No. He hasn't. Thank you, Carlos. Select one classmate. 
um, Maria Jose. Okay. Has your mother, 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 mm -hmm. cooked the breakfast today? Cooked. Cooked the breakfast today. The breakfast today. Cooked. Yes. yes, she has. Okay. Ma Maria Jose, select one of your classmates. Mm, Ana Sonia. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Have your father um have, have? Has, has mm -hmm. your father ever played played basketball? Played or played? Played basketball. Mm -hmm. No, he played it. Mm -hmm. Basketball. Uh has didn't. What? You say in, in negative, excuse me, que, can you repeat, please? Sure. Mm -hmm. Has your father even played the basketball? No, he hasn't. Thank you. Sonia, select one classmate. Okay, Edwin Tamayo. Tell me. Has... Okay, has your sister an exam the next Saturday? Uh, no, one more time. time. One more time. Complete the, the sentence, Sonia. You are mixing has everything. Your, has your sister mm -hmm. an exam the next Saturday? No, pero eso no tiene sentido. Porque el, cuando usamos el presente perfecto, lo usamos para acciones actuales, acciones que recientemente pasaron, pero no se puede hacer mm -hmm. para futuro. Ah, ok, Porque ok. Next And Saturday then, is... Future. I repeat. Ok. Has, has your sister an exam today? No, but where, no, is, the, is... where is the birth three? Past tense. Are you... Ah, oh, ok. Has your sister... Had an exam today? Exactly. Has your sister had an exam today or has your sister done an exam okay. today? Ahí sí tiene sentido. Ahí estamos. Ahí estamos. Okay. 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 Has uh -huh. your sister done an exam today? Yes, she has. All right. Edwin, select one of your classmates. Okay. Um. Andrea Esther. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever seen the rain? No, you need to ask about father, brother, and sister, or mother. Uh, Using okay. has. That's the reason why I'm asking you to ask those type of questions to be able to use has on the sentence. Has have you? No. Brother ever seen? Ah, the rain? one more time. Had you brother? No, has ever your brother seen the rain? Has. Exactly. Has your brother ever seen the rain? Mm -hmm. I don't have brother. I have only sisters. Okay, has your sister ever seen the rain? Yes, I do. Do have suppose? No. Yes, she, yes has. she has or <laughs> no, she hasn't. So yes, she has. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, Ed, Edgar. So, uh, read the lesson objective that I sent on the Zoom's chat, please. It says practice asking and answering questions. Edgar? Yes. Uh, where you can send? I send it to the Zoom's okay. chat. Okay. Practice asking and answering questions. Mm -hmm. That is correct. 
Yes. Yeah. Okay. Practice asking and answering questions in English using the present perfect and simple past tenses. Mm -hmm. In this lesson, English teacher Joe San explain when you simple past versus the present perfect tense depend depending on the time frame of the action. Practice asking questions in the present perfect using have you ever and describing your past experience by responding in both the present perfect and simple past. This lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. Comprehension exercise. Comprehension exercise. Actually, that should be compre comprehensive exercise. But anyways, uh, let me go ahead and share my computer's screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. I think you will be able to uh, listen and watch to the video. Just let me know as soon as you can listen to it. You too? Yeah, we can see it. Thank you. In this class, you'll be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past, and you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on giving more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question, right? Such as the example that we see there. Yes, I have. I tried them last month. And I want you to notice the question towards the bottom. It's no longer in the present perfect, but it is now in the simple past. And that's because we're asking questions about our uh, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now the question is related to uh, the example that you see there. I tried him last month. And the next questions will be related to that event. And so the answer to that is yes, I did. And then you give more information. So they were delicious. And so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect, and then you continue on and, and you give either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. 
Um, and then you might give more information, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have. Have it's an auxiliary verb. And we're going to use have whenever I talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he, she, or it, or in other words, the third person, right? Um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. Let me do that at this time. In order for us to form the questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has, as I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they, and we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have, um, and then this follows the subject then this follows the word ever and then the verb in its past participle form and then whatever complement that exists so in this case have you ever eaten snails and by the way um, this word here is a frequency adverb so sometimes you can remove it um, and um, the question will still be correct but in this case we want to use it have you ever eaten snails um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response such as yes I have or this could be a negative response such as no I haven't and so just so that we can see clearly what's happening what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the colors at this time alright there we go so have you ever eaten snails and it's the same thing um, for our next question have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant so let's do that one as well so I'm going to use have this follows the subject and then we're using the word ever so we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form and then whatever complement that exists so in this case have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant and then once again the answer to that particular question can be yes I have or no I haven't and what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question, either yes I have or no I haven't. And then this next sentence, we're typically going to follow with a simple past statement. And the reason is because um, I'm going to talk about my experience in the past so in this case I'm gonna say I tried them last month so this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had which is related to this topic right so have you ever eaten snails and my, my answer to that question is yes I have I tried them last month so I I'm using the simple past and um, now the next questions that you see there which is what I mentioned earlier are in the simple past did you like them now all the questions are related to this event that you see here right it's no longer this question that you're answering you're answering the next question I tried them last month so you want more information about this event from last month did you like them and as you can see the answer yes I did they were delicious and we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is no, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both the 
present perfect and the simple past to talk about things that you either started in the past, continue to the present, and then when you want to go into talking about a past experience, that's when we use the simple past. So let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Um, have you ever try sushi? How would you respond to that question? Well, typically most people have, so most people will say yes, I have. And so tell me about that experience. Okay? So if you're going to tell me about that experience, then that's when we're, whenever we're going to use the um, simple past. So how would you tell me about that past experience? Well, have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. I um, ate sushi last month. Oh, sorry. I ate sushi last month. Oh, really? And then whenever you start talking about that past experience, the next questions that will follow will be in the simple past. Did you like did you like it? Now, how would you respond to that? Well, you can you can respond to that by answering yes, I did, or no, I didn't. I thought it was great, or I didn't like it. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever eaten exotic food? Um, as you answer these questions, what I would like for you to do is to answer the question with either yes, I have, and then I want you to tell me that past experience. So similar to the examples that we see on the chart, let's say the question is, have you ever eaten Mexican food? And let's say that your answer is, yes, I have. Then you will tell me where and how did you like it. So as you can see, what I'm trying to get to is that you give me your response and then you give me information about that particular past event. And that's what I would like for you to do for all of those questions there. Oh, thank you. I think that we have time to complete this exercise. Uh, it says, instructions, read and listen to the following conversation and answer the questions. Oh, let me see how many questions do we have. Okay. Five. Yeah, but we need to listen to uh, an audio Four. in order to complete that information. We're going to do it tomorrow. But before letting you go, related to the last explanation and according to the structures, do you have any questions? I'm going to give you one minute to ask. Is that clear? No. Not clear? It's okay. <clears throat> do you need a extra time to practice? Would you like me to send you the, the pictures to the WhatsApp? We need to practice. We need to practice, right? Today, we have just studied the you stuff, just no questions in the present perfect. Okay. Tomorrow, yes. we're going to try to put in practice the mixed stuff, present perfect plus simple past. Simple past. And at the end, we are going to combine the, uh, jet, I'm sorry, WH words or information questions with the simple past, okay? All right. Bye. Okay. Lo, voy dejar, lo voy a dejar hasta acá. Vamos a continuar mañana. Si no han cenado, buen provecho. And see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 You too. Thank you. Bye, Carlos.